Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see the calculation of standard deviation, its coefficient of variation. This is the part 2 which you are seeing now. Already I have uploaded part 1 in which we have seen standard deviation and its coefficient. Sometimes in the examination, they will be asking standard deviation and coefficient of variation which we are going to see in this video. And sometimes they will be asking you standard deviation, its coefficient which we have seen in our previous video. So if you watch part 1 as well as part 2, both of these videos, you will be perfect in standard deviation. What Whatever the question they may ask you regarding standard deviation, you will be able to do the problem and easily you can score full marks. So you try to watch both of the videos, then only you will be perfect with standard deviation topic. Okay, if you are new to our channel, learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. You take the help from this video and also you be helpful for your friends by sharing this video. And if you want the notes of all the subjects and languages, whatever you are having in your group, I will be giving you all subject important question and answers notes which are easy, simple and clear to understand. So if you want the notes, you can text me on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is also learn with Sahira. I will be mentioning my Instagram ID link in this video description also. So you text me on my Instagram. I will be giving you the access for all the notes. But note, payment is must. I repeat, payment is must. Okay, so without getting late, let us get started with our video. Standard deviation, its coefficient of variation. Okay, so you can see a question on your screens. Calculate the coefficient of variation from the given table or given data. If they ask you to calculate coefficient of variation or if they ask you to calculate coefficient of standard deviation, first you need to calculate standard deviation. After calculating standard deviation only, we can go with the coefficient or coefficient of variation. So now let us go with the solution, okay? So whatever they have given in the question as it is, you have to take like uh, you have to take this as x, then x column. Then we have F column. Yes. So whatever they have given in the question, you take in the same way. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Done. Yes. Then let us take F values. What are F values? F values are 6, 12, 18, 26, 16, 10, 8. Okay, so we are done with X and F. Now what we are going to see, we are going to see FX. Okay, FX is nothing but when you multiply X value with F value, you will be getting FX. Okay, multiply 12 into 6, you will be getting FX. 14 into multiply by 12, you will be getting FX. So let us multiply, take a calculator and multiply. Okay, let me keep it here. 12 into 6. How much it is? 12 into 6, it is 72. Take it. Then 14 into 12. 14 into 12, it is 168. 16 into 18. 16 into 18, it is 288. Then 18 into 26. 18 into 26, it is 468. Then 20 into 16. You also do the calculations along with me. Okay. Just don't see the video. Take a paper. Take a pen. And do the calculation. 22 into 10. 22 into 10. 220. 24 into 8. 24 into 8. 192. Okay. So we are done with FX. Now what we are going to do. We are going to see fx square how we will be getting fx square in my last video i have said you you have to take f value then you have to take x value you have to do x value the square okay let me show you how okay so what is the f value f value is 6 we took 6 6 into x x how much it is it is 12 6 into 12 square how much we got we got 864 864 will be taken here 
then you take f value f value first because it is f right so f value first then you multiply it with x value 14 then you find the square of it how much it is 2 3 5 2 then again 18 into 16 square 4 6 0 8 okay and 26 into 8 18 sorry 18 square yes 26 into 18 only no wait that was 18 and 16 right 18 into 16 square yes done now 26 into 18 square it is 8424 8424 calculation parts don't do just by hand okay you take a calculator better to do the calculations with calculator itself because no mistakes will be seen okay 6400 then we have 10 into 22 10 into 22 square it is 4840 4840 then we have 8 into 24 square it is 4608 4608 okay so we found the fx square but note here the solution which we are doing are discrete series okay the solution in which we are performing standard deviation and its coefficient of variation is our discrete series means only single values have been given if they used to be continuous series means 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 in that way if they used to give we used to calculate mid values as i have shown you in the part one in part one we have performed standard deviation and its coefficient on continuous series means 10 to 20 20 to 30 let me show you here i'm having you can see here this problem this was the part one yes in part one you have seen this solution in which we have done the solution on continuous series in continuous series we have also calculated mid values means mid points if continuous series data will be given you have to do the same thing but you one extra column will be taken which is mid values and fx square will be cal will be calculating on both of this if you see part one you will be clarified okay so in continuous series you should take mid values and in discrete series means single digit you should not take mid values directly you have to do fx and fx square okay so till here we have done now you just draw a box okay and now you should get sigma fx square how much will be sigma fx square sigma fx square is nothing but when you add all these values you will be getting sigma fx square okay let us add all the values okay okay let me do here 864 plus 232352 864 2352 plus 4608 plus 8424 plus 6400 plus 4840 how much it is it is 27488 once again you check whether you have entered the values correctly or not see again see i have missed one again we are having 4608 in the last 4608 that is why better to check again whenever you do the calculation okay in the normal calculator you will be having an option called check in the left corner by using which you can see the calculations check the calculations and the numbers what you have entered okay a slight difference in the number will make you uh, to do the wrong solution okay so make sure you do the calculations perfectly so fx square is this much let us find fx okay fx means you have to add all these values 72 plus 168 plus 288 plus 468 plus 320 plus 220 plus 192 okay let us check again done so we are getting 1728 as sigma fx let us find sigma f or it is also known as n how much is n let us add all these values we will be getting n or sigma f 6 plus 12 plus 
एटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस टेन प्लस एट वी आर गेटिंग नाइन्टी सिक्स सो लेट अस टेक नाइन्टी सिक्स ओके लेट मी हाईलाइट दिस वैल्यूज विथ सम अदर पेन रेड पेन ओके डन सो वी गॉट ऑल द वैल्यूज नाउ वी नीड टू सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यूज इन टू द फॉर्मूला वॉट इज स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन फॉर्मूला आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग लाइक दिस ओके आई हैव रिटन इन द शॉर्ट फॉर्म बट यू हैव टू राइट कंप्लीटली स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ओके वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज अंडर रूट सिग्मा एफ एक्स स्क्वायर बाई एन माइनस सिग्मा एफ एक्स बाई एन होल स्क्वायर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला we got sigma fx square n and fx so now let us substitute all the values let us see under root sigma fx square how much it is it is 32096 by n n is 96 minus uh, sigma fx how much it is 1728 n how much it is 96 whole square now you perform the calculations okay take a calculator perform 3 You can see here. I'm performing here. Okay, three two zero nine six divided by ninety six. How much we got? Three three four point three three. Okay. If you want to take the decimal points, you can. Otherwise, you can leave. Okay, only one also you can take. One seven two eight. You have to do the square of this. Okay, do the square. How much you are getting? Minus two nine eight five nine eight four. This is the number. Okay, when you are doing the square of this. Okay, let us do again one seven two eight. Just cross check again. Okay, so that there will be no mistakes. Yes, correct. Now let us find the root of ninety six. Square of ninety six. I mean, ninety six. How much we got? We got nine two one six. Okay. Now let us do the calculation on this. Under root three three four point three three. Let us do the calculation of this. Okay. Two nine. Let me do here. Two nine eight five nine eight four. Yes. Two nine eight five nine eight four divided by nine two one six. How much we got? You see, we got three two four. Three two four. Now you see, we are going to do under root. You minus this amount with the this amount. Okay, this amount with this amount. How much it is? Three three four point three three minus. Three two four. How much we got? See, we got ten point thirty three. Ten point thirty three. If we see the root of this, ten point thirty three. Three three actually it is. So we got three point two one four. So our standard deviation is three point two one four. Okay, this is our standard deviation. Okay, but. Till here only we have found the standard deviation. Okay, what you need to remember here, you need to remember to do the calculation parts here in this box, and then you have to remember this formula so that you can substitute all the formula. So we got standard deviation, but now what we have to do, we have to find coefficient of variation. To find the coefficient of variation, again we are having a formula. What is that formula? Co Efficient of variation. Coefficient of variation formula is standard deviation by mean into hundred percentile. Okay, so this is the formula of coefficient of variation. Standard deviation by mean into hundred percentile. Now, what we are going to do? in order to find the coefficient of variation we need standard deviation and mean already we have seen the standard deviation cal calculation we got standard deviation but mean have not been found till now no so let us calculate mean what is the formula of mean mean formula is sigma fx by 
n how much is sigma fx it is 1728 how much is n 96 1728 by 96 1728 by 96 you do the calculation how much you are getting you see me is say me in the comment section 1728 divided by 96 okay we got 18 so our mean here is 18 so now what we are going to do standard deviation how much we got the standard deviation we got standard deviation as 3.214 yes or no this is the standard deviation 3.214 3.214 divided by 18 if you do you will get coefficient of variation this is written as cv you can say coefficient of variation is cv okay now let us do the calculation calculation 3.214 divided by 18 how much you got you got 0.178 so 0.178 into 100 yes or no Let us do hundred into hundred. Okay, so three point two one four divided by eighteen into hundred. How much it is? It is seventeen point eight five. So here, our answer is seventeen point eight five. Okay. always you write this variation in percentile okay you should not perform the calculation of percentile but this standard deviation of uh, coefficient of variation will be in percentile so you may try to mention this percentile in the end okay so our standard deviation coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is this much 17.85 and our standard deviation is this much 3.214 this is really very simple if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section so this was for the discrete series in discrete series no need to find mid values okay and in continuous series as we have seen we have found mid values calculation part is exactly same but here fx square we will be finding with f and x here we took direct fx right here direct we took this and this and we have multiplied there we have multiplied with mid values okay this is the difference between standard deviation coefficient of variation and standard deviation and its coefficient so if you like this video share this video with your friends and for notes of all the subjects and languages text me on my instagram learn with sahira but note payment is must so see you all in the next video bye bye